Hey guys, Key from Kegland, and today we're talking about a fun new product, which is our little power sprayer. This little lithium ion rechargeable power sprayer is a great way to fill with sanitizer and spray down a whole lot of your fittings and sanitize stuff like that. Uh, we've got another attachment which can also attach to your beer lines and clean your beer lines out as well. So I'm going to show you that in one tick. But before I go any further, I have to also give a shout out to Bradley from Portly Gentleman. He's got a YouTube channel, really awesome YouTube channel and a awesome guy as well. So he's the one that actually brought this to my attention said, Key, how come you don't stock some type of lithium ion spray gun like this? Because um, sprays are so common around the brewery and stuff like that. You can fill something up like this with a Stella Sand or Star Sand sort of mixture, or you can put in some uh, ethanol spray or something like that. And the battery power just you know pushes it through that nozzle really powerfully. He actually used, used a Solo brand sprayer. Now I did actually look at that Solo brand sprayer and reached out to them because we're thinking about stocking that particular one, but that didn't have as high pressure. So this one goes up to three bar pressure rating, which was kind of nice. The other thing is it had a much larger lithium ion battery in here, which was about two and a half times the size as the Solo sprayer. So that was kind of also nice. And lastly, one other thing is I hate another charging cable, which I potentially am gonna lose. The Solo spray used a barrel connector, which was unique to that particular device. Uh, but this one uses USB type C. So you don't, you know, we do include a cable, but even if you lost it, it's no big deal. Just USB type C at the back, plug it in, it charges up, no worries. Anyway, let me show you how to use this awesome little tool. So the sprayer looks like this. The bottle itself holds about one litre. As I was saying, it's got graduated markings up the side so you can see how much you're putting in there. What you wanna do is put in a little bit of water in this case, and then I've got a little bit of Stella Sand. So I've got one litre of water, so I'm putting in 1.5 mils of the Stella Sand in there. Already done that mix. Then give it a little bit of a charge, USB type C on the back here, so just plug that in there, as I was saying. And as soon as you hit the power on button, you can see that mist just coming out there and it's absolutely kind of drenching my hand there. Now, you can, of course, adjust the nozzle on the front here to go, you know, either a, a jet stream like that, or you can go into a fine mist by screwing it in. Very simple, pretty much like any other sprayer that you would expect, except I've got this single button here to press to turn it on and turn it off. Also, I should say you press it on and then it stays on and then you press it off and it turns off like that. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, is this gonna be powerful to spray my mates with or my kids or pets or whatever? And yes, it is. Let's have a look. Basically, you unscrew this knob to put it in jet mode. And then what I do is click this button here. As you can see, it's coming out as a bit of a fine jet. I point it that way. And as you can see, that gutter over there, that's about six meters away for this sort of stormwater gutter. And it's easily getting you know, past that. So look, maybe six, seven meters. That's the three bar pressure in action, I guess. So yeah, definitely enough to uh, shoot your mates in the face. Now, if you want to use this bad boy for cleaning out your beer or gas lines, just remove the tip like this, and then we sell a little bit of a kit separately, which is a special ball lock post with a special cut thread in it for this application, which goes onto the thread of the gun here. So you'll need to get this one. Now, I should say that this has also got the double notch, so there's a multi-post, so it fits your not only your gas uh, disconnects, but also your beer disconnects as well. So you can clean out your gas lines for some reason if you happen to get some liquid up there accidentally. So chuck in this part of the poppet. It's got a two-piece poppet. Then drop the spring in there. You will have to make sure that the uh, tapered end of the spring, so the smaller end of the spring, is facing upwards like that with the large side down. Then go onto the tip of the gun like that. Now what I can do is basically just hit this button on the gun and it will clean out the lines. So what I can do is connect, I've got this little Nucatat Mini set up here, which I need to clean the lines out of, for instance. Clip that on there like that. And then what I can do is open the tap like this and turn that on. Oh yeah, I've got to turn the uh, gun on. So I just press that once. And as you can see, I'm cleaning out my lines. So what an easy way to clean out your, uh, you know, your beer or gas lines. You can do this on your kegerator or any type of, type of keg system. That three bar pressure should be enough to push through pretty much any type of keg system, even like a large cold plate or something like that. Anyway, that's it. And then if you convert it back, just take that off. Take this guy off the front of the gun like that. And then you can turn it back into a sprayer normally just by screwing that back on like so. So instead of procrastinating cleaning out your beer lines, get a simple kit like this, which makes it so fast and easy to clean your beer lines out. And these are really inexpensive, also really handy for you know shooting the kids at home or you know around the garden if you're putting some type of pesticide or something like that on some uh, on some plants. Anyway, if you want to hear about any other cool stuff that's coming out, bottom right hand corner, hit subscribe now, and of course hit that notification bell so you get notified when new videos like this drop. The other thing you can do is join our Facebook homebrew community group. Anyway, that's that's it, hope you enjoy using this one and see you guys next time, bye.